Bohem, how you doing? Yeah, it's a good idea to get some discussion going and get people thinking. Uh, but I'm like you, my life is kind of, um, you know, the timeline is basically movies and maybe TV shows. Um, mostly movies, because TV shows, I, I watch reruns. I watch a lot of reruns, so, you know, I, it gets cluttered in there. But yeah, the movies. Uh, the first movie that I can remember seeing as a little kid was actually uh, Silent Running with Bruce Dern. And that was a sci-fi movie where the earth was basically destroyed and uh, what they did was they took all the, the last forests and put them in big giant domes and sent them up in space. And uh, it was a pretty good movie. They had robots in there that they called Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And they were basically, they were actually midgets upside down walking around on their hands and hands. And uh, it was a pretty cool movie. Now I got you beat on uh, lameness for um, first albums. My first album was, and I hate to admit this, was Captain and Tennille. And it was, I believe the album was called Love Will Keep Us Together. I mean, a little kid who was a rock and roller. I could not believe, I, I still can't believe it. I just, I tell friends and they all laugh at me. And, uh, but I did actually buy the next album was the Yellow Submarine, so I think I kind of, you know, I might have evened out a little bit. But yeah, Captain Antonio, I think, beats your uh, Backstreet Boys or whoever they are. Anyways, um, yeah, well, timelines, music, some albums also. Uh, actually, what's just funny is. <laughs> About five years after buying Captain Tennille, I end up buying Kiss Alive 2. So, uh, two extremes. Two extremes. Um, yeah. That's how life goes. At least for me. Music and the movies. Now, on the problem with YouTube, just getting complacent and boring and it's just dying. A lot of that is because the idiots at YouTube, what they do is they pick for featuring you know, videos and whatever. It's just bland stuff. It's like they're trying to meet the status quo. I can't stand the comedy they put on there because the comedy, there may be a three star ratings. Why the hell are you going to feature a channel or a video that has basically three star rating videos? Why? I mean, I just beat my head. It's just, mm, they're fucking idiots. It's like, okay, guys, watch maybe the show of shows, you know, some Jack Benny, of course, Monty Python, you know, watch some funny stuff first, then look at the videos that people are making, and maybe uh, try to figure out what's really funny and what's not. You know, there's a lot of crap on TV nowadays, and it's just boring shit. I still have the few favorites that I like, and I like the stuff that kind of, uh, you know, deals with the man-women issue. You know, Raymond was great because she kind of bitch at him and he was an idiot. Just like real life. Uh, you know, I hate to say two and a half men are like that. Idiots, you know. Just shows how men are idiots with women. Love it, love it. Um, but yeah, I love all the old English comedies too. And um, I mean, the idiots at YouTube need to watch good quality stuff. You know, four star stuff that's been around for a while. And, um, you know, then feature the stuff. None of this crap that they're doing now. Oh, look, someone might laugh at that. It's like the last, the sketches deal. I mean, there's only a couple that I laughed out loud at. And that should be the point, you know. You know it's funny if you can actually laugh out loud. I mean, if they do something stupid, that makes you laugh out loud. And most of that stuff was just like, okay, they're trying to be funny. You know. My favorite so far was the, uh, actually the groundhog, just because the last, at the very end, there was something funny that happened. You know, the guy finally realized there was a groundhog there, and he spits out the water. I like that. That was funny. The rest of them are just like, okay, oh, I, that's almost funny. Okay, why am I wasting, you know, five minutes, you know? I think uh, videos, you know, especially homegrown stuff, use about two to three minutes. That's what you get, where you get the laughs at. People don't get too bored, and yeah, that's my opinion. You know, it's just like everybody else. You know, they have their opinions. They have their assholes. Me too. So, 
Anyways, little thought there. But YouTube, yeah, they just they need to get better people in just to figure this stuff out. You know, watch some of the old classics. You know, that's what they need to do, and then they can feature stuff, and then it'll come alive again. YouTube will come alive again. So. <laughs> My cat's ch chasing a uh, moth. Yes? Are you going to get it? Yes? It's a little high, isn't it? Anyways. All right. Thanks, man. Thought intriguing. We need to get there. Someday all this shit on YouTube will get off. Also, maybe uh, we can figure out why that, what was it, Jesse Ari got kicked off. And what was it, YouTube United? You know, maybe you can fit. Well, anybody can. Maybe someone can figure that out. That's been going around. Why would they kick them off? Uh, that's YouTube's kind of doing stuff like that, and they need to give explanations. Um, maybe some of you out there can work a little magic and go, hey, guys, if you're going to do something, cut someone off, let them know. Let us know. I mean, it's almost like a Bushy's getting in there now. Just going in there. I don't like that. They can get rid of that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to have a YouTube board now. Oh, gosh. Anyways. Thanks, dude. Enjoy California. Out here, I still get snow, so I can't live in an attic. Not enough insulation. Keep going, dude. Hasta la vista, baby.